Hello everyone, Wyatt here with a quick little video. I'm going to be attempting, for the first time, to clean some quartz crystals using muriatic acid, which is basically hydrochloric acid. What I'm thinking is I'm going to dilute it about 50-50, so about half water, distilled water, and half acid. Since this video is going to be so short, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be a YouTube video or if I'm just going to post it on Facebook. But I guess you'll know depending on where you're watching this at. But these are the quartz crystals that I pulled out at the one uh, spot I found in a couple of the other videos that I posted, which I'll have a link or a card for you to go check out if you haven't seen those already. Now I'm hoping these clean up well. Um, some of these are decently clean, but I think they can get a little cleaner, especially this one here. This one's got a lot of the iron oxide rust on the surface, and I'm hoping this one will clean up really well and reveal some good clear points. I'm using some old ice cream containers to put these in. So I'll add the water and the acid. All right, so I got the acid in there now, and I brought it out to a location where no animals are going to get into the solution. And it's already going to work. The water's already turning a different color. I uh, tried a 50-50 solution, so 50 water, 50 acid. I've never done this before, so this is the first time. We'll see how it turns out for these quartz crystals here. I'm hoping does a good job. I got three vent holes in the lid. I'm just going to leave them out here in this isolated area. All right, so after a whole entire day, not too much has changed on the rust colored one, but uh, the clear one, like that one, right, right, <laughs> right there, where my, th where my thumb's pointing, that one's looking better. As far as the others, they're looking slightly better. All right, so it's been about four days now. Let's see what it looks like after four days. Still lots of iron staining on that one piece of quartz. It has cleaned off the other ones decently well. All right, so the crystals have been soaking in muriatic acid for a week straight now. I have some baking soda water to neutralize the acid and we're gonna put the crystals in there and see what they look like now after a week of soaking. Got the gloves on of course and the safety goggles. So to make this, these are one gallon old ice cream containers that I'm using, repurposing. So I put half a pound of baking soda per gallon of water, and these are one gallon containers. So half a pound of baking soda, half a pound of baking soda. Put that over a little bit so you can see. We're going to put the crystals in here. And let's start off with the first container here. I'm going to be careful because it's probably still active acid after a week of soaking. There's still, acid's still working away. I can see some bubbles. So let's get started here. Probably saw that foaming reaction. That's the acid neutralizing with the baking soda. All right, so I quickly went to get a bucket of water so I can rinse off my glove so there's no baking soda on it because uh, the acid is still very much active and I don't want to waste it. I might throw a couple other crystals in there that I have just as an experiment. But uh, I want to show you the reaction here. I'm going to grab another quartz cluster out if I don't throw sticks in there. So time to put another quartz cluster in. And man, these cleaned up decent, decently. Here we go, you can see that. And there's a little bit of heat that's released when this happens. I'm going to submerge my glove in there to make sure all the acid is off. There we go. This is what they look like now. Nice and clean and shiny. Look at those. That's not even the best one yet. So I'm going to let these soak twice or three times as long as they were in the acid. So maybe two to three weeks. And then I'm going to soak them in fresh water after this. There's that one. Not bad. This one here, this one turned out nice. 
that's how this one turned out. Look at that. Nice and clean for the most part. It's going to soak back in the baking soda. And there we are. They're decently clean for my very first attempt ever. Now I'm going to let those soak for about three weeks in the baking soda solution to neutralize all the acid, then I'll soak it in water for a couple days, and then it should be done and finished and ready to go. Uh, hopefully at the end here I'll have some pictures of what they look like. Hope you enjoyed this little video of my first attempt trying to clean quartz crystals with acid. Hope you found it interesting and hopefully maybe you learned something and maybe you learned from my mistakes as well. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all in the next video. You all have a great day. Take care.